what's going on? There's just been this flurry of science come out, uh, you know, core science, like fundamental science, and yeah. review journals, review science that goes and looks at all of them and goes, uh, hmm, we've got some patterns occurring here. So yeah. what and what's happening? Um, uh, I want to learn from you. So when I started doing the work with you and I read that initial paper that basically changed the trajectory of women's health, at least for midlife women. Uh, that's the the WHI, Women's Health Initiative. Right. Paper. Was that the 2002 study? The 2002 one? study. Yeah. So the study came out and the study, I mean, now I've done a whole bunch of the history on it. This study came out. It was not publicized what it was looking for. It was not publicized who they were performing the study on, who they were looking at. The only thing that got publicized was the, the study had to stop because the cancer incident, breast cancer particularly, went up to a point where they couldn't ethically continue this. Those were the headlines. So that was it. That was the that was point awesome. heading that got published, right? And this isn't a big study though, right? This was a lot, a lot of women in this study. It was like 60,000. That was, yeah, like thousands, thousands. It's all thousands. American women. It was just American women. I think so. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, it was this, you know, the Women's Health Initiative, it wasn't a single study. It's like a huge cohort of women oh, yeah. that, that get used you know, their data is collated and used for a whole bunch of different things. Oh. So anyway, we'll we'll put that there. Okay. And so what the result of that was prescriptions for HRT dropped by like 65%. You know, this is this study singularly stopped the prescription of one of the very few helpful. Oh, no. Uh, Medical. Like there's a good back. conspiracy theory in there somewhere. Well, you know, I mean, the it doesn't count well, women, right? So it doesn't really count. It's just like, oh, don't do that. Oh, well, no, it does count. Okay, wait, here's the thing. I know, of course, it counts. I think I saw a graph saying that the incidence of dementia and mm -hmm. osteoporosis and maybe cardiovascular disease have the data from them shows that the incidences of those went way up right after we stopped using HRT with women. So there's actually proof in that data set that it works. Yeah. Well, you know, I I consider myself to be an amateur sleuth, right? I I I I write, she says, write mystery novels in my spare time. The point is, I was like, this can't be right. This w, this this WH the Women's Health Initiative study that can't be right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't taste right. And so I started to dig. And the first thing that jumped out is that the the study was based on um, however many thousands of women, but certainly a very satisfying number in terms of scientific credibility and the ability to run stats and stuff. Um, but these women, the median age was, I mean, the, the ages of the women, I think were like 55 to 70 that were in there, but the medium age was well past the age that you would, that you would be using HRT at the time. Like starting using it. Like mean, starting like to use not it. having continued it, but actually. Well, and even, I mean, it. back in those days, you had 10 years and then they put, and then they pull you off. Right. Oh. Like that was what they knew at the time. Interesting. Okay. You be on it. So if you started at 55, you're out at 65 kind of thing. Okay. So the study was performed on, on women who were not actually the candidates for hormone therapy. And the reason they were performing this study was because observationally, right? Doctors had noticed and, and researchers had noticed that women on HRT seem to get all of these health benefits, right? Cardiovascular. It was anecdotal. It was anecdotal. So, it was anecdotal. so the WHI study was yeah. run to confirm these positive outcomes. Okay. Right? Okay. So the study had nothing to do with does HRT work. It right. had to do with the 
all like it had to do with proving or at least increasing the the support for the theory that HRT is protective. It's going to okay. help your heart. It's going to do all sorts of good things for you. And and so the study in and out of itself is a good study. Mm-hmm. It's just the 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 outcomes from it are taken completely out of context. Because the women, what they were looking for, um, like they didn't study anything to do with the hormones. They just studied different types of risks. So all mortality and cardiovascular and a number of different cancers. Um, And so basically that study stopped everyone Mm -hmm. from using HRT, prescribing it. And the people who who were on it were scared. Yeah. Like you, Jennifer. It's like, if I don't have this medication, then I'm ugly crying in CEO meetings, which is also not acceptable, right? So women are given this choice of, you know, why don't you increase your risk of breast cancer? Yeah, yeah. chances of ugly crying are 100% today. Yes, exactly. <laughs>